In this video, we'll review some of the characteristics of the cerebellum. The cerebellum, that term actually means little brain. And that's because the cerebellum, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a little brain and it's located posterior right behind the pons of the brainstem. The cerebellum has several functions. And so let's look at its major functions. One thing that the cerebellum does that's really important is that it smooths out our movements. Therefore, it has an important role in balance and coordination. And although it used to be thought that the cerebellum was mostly just important in movement, we now know that the cerebellum is also really important in allowing us to transition between different thoughts. Therefore, the cerebellum is really important in smoothing out our movements and smoothing out our thought processes. Now, two important terms that you should know that are associated with the cerebellum are the folia and the arbor vitae. The folia are the visible folds on the surface of the cerebellum. So you can see that the folia or folds cover the entire cerebellum. So remember the folds on the cerebrum are called the gyri and the raised folds on the cerebellum are called the folia. The term arbor vitae actually means tree of life. Arbor means tree, vitae means life. And the arbor vitae are the branches of white matter visible in the cerebellum. So remember the white matter contains the axons of the neurons. So wherever you have white matter, you have a lot of signals being transmitted. Now you can actually live without a cerebellum. Some people were born without a cerebellum. And I actually had an instance last semester where one of my students halfway through the semester got a CAT scan and learned that she was missing the vermis of her cerebellum. So she was actually missing the middle part of her cerebellum, the part that connects the two hemispheres of the cerebellum. So I guess you never know where something that you're learning in anatomy and physiology will relate to your life.